Hi everyone and welcome. We're in my wormery and we're about to feed some worms. There's a few bins um, over here on the left that we're not going to bother with right now. These are bins that I'm treating as finishing bins that have more or less finished compost in them. And I'm in the process of trying to bait worms out of those. i got separate videos on that topic if you're interested. Check my channel. The ones we're going to be focusing on today are those bins over there on the right. As well as that little one on the bottom, that little green tub. The green tub is sort of a nursery bin. It has um, European night crawlers in it. That was launched off with cocoons about three weeks ago. And at this point, there was a little bit of food added to it, a little bit of corn, but I want to make sure that there's enough food in there as those little guys start to emerge from their cocoons. I want to make sure there's an ample supply of food for them in there. And then we're going to go through and we're going to feed the remainder of my bins using the normal combination of um, different food items that I have on the ready here. We have uh, some stuff like banana peels and fruit peels and vegetable peels as well as some slower composting things such as uh, some corn cobs. And then uh, we also have some other staple items that I always feed with such as used spent coffee and um, a little grit to go along with that little eggshell uh, ground up into a fine almost powder like substance which uh, which the worms need for for, di for their digestion purposes so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these uh, bins out here on the table one at a time and we're gonna proceed with the feeding so we're starting out here with the very newest of my bins which is actually sort of a nursery bin and this tub started out not too long ago with only the cocoons of European night crawlers. 500 to be exact, according to Emily, the crazy worm lady. What I tried to do is originally start the bin out with only carbon items. Cardboard, leaves, things of that nature. And more recently, I added corn cob. Uh, with the assumption that once these little guys start getting uh -huh, hatched, they'll uh, they'll be able to eat leaves and paper type bedding material that I laid down in there for them. But I also figured that in time they would also want to start eating some more uh, some corn cob. So I can see a couple of them on here, squirming around, little suckers. These guys must have all just been hatched. I definitely don't see too many of them. But there's been enough time at this point, I believe, for most of them to have hatched. So um, I guess here and there I'm going to spot one. Yeah, and they're so small. Maybe a little bit too close, so I'm not sure the focus is going to work out. But you can see even a couple of these little guys have made their way up onto the... Uh, the paper here. You can see we got some really tiny baby worms cruising around here. And um, the uh, the food supply, I just wanted to make sure that the corn that I added last time was still holding up okay and that um, everything else was still okay. And it seems like things are in good shape so I'm not gonna disturb these little guys much anymore. I mean just looking around you could see worms in different places. There's worms here on this cardboard. There's worms cruising around in between the leaves everywhere. So they um, they seem to be making themselves at home. And um, everything seems to be pretty good in this bin. So I'm going to put this, this one back up on the shelf. I'm not going to add any more food at this point. Maybe next time. But um, so far so good as far as this uh, nursery bin is concerned. Let's cover these guys up and uh, get the next tub out here. So next up is going to be the newest of my bins. There's actually two bins that were launched on the same day. And we're going to begin by feeding these guys the corn. Ample time for the corn to break down. So let's, uh, let's make some room for the corn. 
And in the meantime, we could also check out how things are progressing here in this bin. It's been 10 days since the last feeding. And most recently, I've been waiting only about seven days between feedings. This go around, I waited a little bit longer, mainly because I knew that there was just an abundance of food in these bins, so I knew I had nothing to worry about. But it does look like the most recently added food items are nearly all gone at this point. It's just some of these older slow composting items, such as the corn that was already in here and these mango seeds. Open up a little bit of a space down in here. Push some of this older food aside. And we're going to drop in a few of these corn cobs for them. But before I do, I guess since it's frozen, I'm going to throw in a little bit of uh, coffee. Just a sort of a little bit of a temperature buffer for them. I don't have to plop the freezing stuff down on top of the worms. And since there's an abundance of uh, banana peel, I'm going to give them one of those as well. And we're going to throw in a little bit of grit too. Alright, so let's just find all these big food chunks that we tossed aside to make room. Just make sure they're down the middle here. And then we're going to cover up over here. I'm just using this as an opportunity to take a peek al along the outer edges as long as I'm here. It seems like even though the feeding is occurring down the middle, there's just worms everywhere in this bin. Oh, nice, abundant, healthy population. Doing good. All the more reason to give them plenty of food. And the moisture seems pretty good too. Right where I like it. Looking good. Okay, let's get the next one out here. This one just doesn't seem to have the weight, even though it's the same age. Maybe I just didn't launch it with as much material. But it is a slightly smaller bin as well. But look at that. I don't know if it's these little pill bugs, these little roly-poly, the round guys. Maybe they're the ones eating up this, this coffee filter. They're just going to town on this thing. At some point I might just blend this thing in and turn it into bedding and uh, get myself a fresh coffee filter to be my food marker. Now, let's see, I believe this bin has also got a bunch of slow composting hard items in it, just like the last bin we fed mango seeds. Look at that, a whole bunch of little guys in there enjoying that. Corn cob with um, the typical crowded feeding zone right beneath it. So we're just going to move some of these food items off to the side so we can... Uh, Put in a couple more corn cobs for them. Let's first put in just a little bit of coffee for them. And then the remainder of the corn corn cobs. Give them a banana peel too. Maybe even two of them, because these are really puny banana peels. And some grit. And the grit always seems to draw a crowd. Alright, so we'll just put some of these older food items that we pushed aside back on top into the middle. This looks like a piece of cantaloupe rind. Alright, things are looking good. We'll do the same again here, just take a peek off on the edge as long as we're here. Just to see how things are progressing on the outer edges. Same story. Tons of compost, tons of worms. Hardly any of the original material that was used to build the bin, as far as like bedding and stuff is concerned. It's just um, just what you get when you launch bins with abundant numbers of worms. You get really fast composting bins. That's kind of what I've been after. 
it's par for the course and it's uh it's in line with what i'm shooting for so that's cool get this uh tattered food marker back on here <laughs> barely tell it's a coffee filter anymore get this thing covered up and back up on the shelf all right so now we start getting into some of these uh older bins this is a bin that goes back to the end of march at this point now it's been swept back to this side i believe last time we had made the initial sweep back in this direction and it was uh it was at the last feeding that this bin was 100 days old so if i'm not mistaken this bin is now at the age of 110 days old we're going to stick to feeding on this side for now so let's pull everything aside or at least some stuff aside so I can make a little bit of room for the next feeding. So I've deliberately saved a lot of the softer, quicker composting foods to be used here. So, uh, so that the slower stuff can be, just be added into the bins that have plenty of time for the worms to work their magic. And in these bins, I'm going to be striving to feed them with stuff that's going to get broken down fairly quickly just so we don't end up with big food chunks and I mean I could feel a little banana peel here and there or whatever but as far as whatever was fed last time I don't see many traces of anything here's like the stem of a banana that's always going to take a little bit longer but that's even gone pretty far so things look really good in this bin things are cooking along and let's do the same thing a little bit of coffee And we're just going to use about half of the remaining food, and there's a whole bunch of it in here, so we're going to give them a good, healthy feeding. We're just going to use a handful of the tattered little bits of um, mango peel and um, apple peel and banana peel, and that's a nice nice generous feeding and we're just going to throw some grit on top so as we as we cover up this feeding zone we'll also just take a peek at the old feeding zone on the opposite edge see how things look well, there's still tons of worms hanging out over here but I believe we had already moved out all the food items from here so that there wouldn't be any we moved them over into the new feeding zone last time. So it'll take time for them to deplete whatever food scraps are in there, and there's plenty. So we'll, uh, we'll let them do what they do. They're doing a great job. Okay, one last bin. All right, so... If you've watched my channel before, you might notice that the pace I'm keeping is a bit accelerated. I'm kind of hustling here because I know there's only so much room left on this uh, SD card in terms of recording space. I think I've only got another minute or two, so we're going to try to we're just going to try to get this last feeding zone fed over on this side, and then we're going to call it a day. And here too, everything looks like it's coming along really nice. I don't really see any food chunks of the last feeding or any signs of the last feeding. Because here and there is a little something or another, but not much at all. Well, yep, it happened. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? I was scrambling just to try to get this thing fed and uh, things just started beeping. Beep, beep, beep. SD card full. <laughs> so whatever, the heat, the pressure's off now. I've gone ahead and I, uh, I transferred the video footage that was on the SD card and I wiped it clean. So now I got plenty of room to continue. So um, either way, we're almost done. We only got this last bin to feed and um, we're just gonna make a little bit of room over here in the feeding zone side so we can plop in another healthy feeding so we had a fair amount of food left over in our container so we're going to uh, 
We're just going to plop in all the remainder of the food that we have for this feeding. Coffee. Just tap out whatever remaining coffee was in here. We're going to tap out whatever remaining food bits were remaining in here. That includes this whole tomato, which doesn't look so bad, but it was all getting wrinkled up and nasty, so I don't see any holes in it, though, so I'm wondering how the worms are going to make their way into it, or if they're going to have a hard time. All right, so for that reason, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some punctures, just to make sure the worms are able to get at it. Hopefully that's good. Last but not least, some grit. Let's go ahead and start covering up over here. Very nice. And we'll just do what we did in the other one too, is we're gonna take a quick peek at how the old feeding zone, the previous feeding zone is coming along. Oops. Stuff flying all directions. Alright, so. Yeah, I mean, considering that this was the last feeding zone, it makes sense that there's still tattered food bits all over the place that they're still trying to deplete. So, um, I just figured I'd take a peek to see how things are looking here. And they're, uh, they're making their way through the food supply. There's not much left. I don't see many large chunks. Just a, this looks like a piece of uh, watermelon rind, paper thin. I'll just leave it there. Let them finish it off in place. All right, so that's it for today, folks. Definitely like the way these oldest of my bins are coming along. They're really looking nice. I think it's helping a lot that I removed all the large, slow composting food items from these bins. And that I've only been feeding them with uh, fast composting soft food items. So um, the only thing that's bugging me is all of these seeds constantly sprouting in here. It's funny too because the uh, the guy Newell up on the World Composting website made comments about how he's annoyed with the sprouts and I said, ah, what's the big deal? Now I'm starting to sympathize with his point of view a little bit more. <laughs> Let's wrap up for the day. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up. So, uh, Definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and think about joining the uh, joining the channel as a subscriber. This way, if you're lucky, you'll get a notification letting you know that there's been a new video posted. If you want to make sure you get notified, then I believe hitting the bell is the way to do it these days. But that's it for now, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.